Good day, family, and all praises to the Most High Creator, Redeemer, and Savior of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Another verse popped out at me, and I felt I had to make a video. I know I've read this verse before, but I guess my eyes weren't open, or it read different in another book. Anyway, first I want to establish who we were given to, so bear with me for a minute. The verse had to do with the heathen, and what will take them down in the end. So here's us Israelites, and not the Hebrew Israelite cults, and the heathen. Ezekiel 22.15 And I will scatter thee among the heathen, and disperse thee in the countries, and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. Ezekiel 20.23-24 20, I lifted up my hand against them in the, in the wilderness, that I would scatter them among the heathen and dispersed them in the countries, because they kept not mine ordinances, and rejected my commandments, and profaned my, my Sabbaths, and their eyes went after the imaginations of their fathers. Psalms 44, 11-14 Thou madest us as sheep for meat, and thou scatterest us among the heathen. Thou hast sold thy people without price, and there was no profit by their exchange. Thou hast made us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are around about us. Thou hast made us a proverb among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the nations. So it's definitely talking about us Israelites because we're the only group of people that fit this. So what does that tell you about what's surrounding us? The Europeans and anyone that doesn't worship only the Most High are the heathen. No matter what the Christians say, they can't put themselves in these scriptures. I saw a video where a pastor said to his congregation that, through the blood of J.C., they were the physical Israelites. Okay, my brain locked up on that one to the point where uh, that's going to be my next video. Okay, let's go to Uncle Enoch so he can show us where the heathen will end up in the end. This isn't the verse I found today, but it needs to be included. Book of Enoch 91, 8 and 9 In those days violence shall be cut off from its roots, and the roots of unrighteousness together with deceit. And they shall be destroyed from under heaven, and all the idols of the heathen shall be abandoned, and the temples burned with fire, and they shall remove them from the whole earth. And they, the heathen, shall be cast into the judgment of fire, and shall perish in wrath and in grievous judgment forever. So we know who the heathens are and where they're headed in the end times. Some will be our servants, but the rest will be cast into the judgment of fire. Here's the verse. Psalms 9, 15, uh, 15. The heathen are caught in the destruction which they planned. In the very snare which they hid is their foot taken. Okay, I'll read that again. Psalms 9, 15. The heathen are caught in the destruction which they planned. In the very snare which they hid is their foot taken. I don't know what the destruction is they have planned. It could be anything. They are constantly inventing things to destroy anything that has a pulse, them included. These heathens destroy things when they aren't even trying to. They say that sunscreen is killing the coral reefs in Hawaii, so they've banned sunscreen on the beach. So by them taking a swim in the water that birthed their forefathers, the sunscreen that protects them from the sun is killing the reefs off. Like I said, they don't have to try to kill things. They just do. Everywhere they go, death, rape, and destruction follows. It's their nature. As far as the snare that they are hiding, I have a verse that keeps popping in my head. I'm not saying that this is, that, uh, this is what the verse is talking about, but this is what I'm going to research after my next video. Obadiah 1, 6. How has Esau been searched out? And how have his hidden things been detected? Again, I'm not saying that this is what the verse is talking about. 
I don't know what the verse is talking about. It could be the 5G network they're trying to roll out without testing to see the effects it has on people. They even admit they don't know, but they're still rolling it out. Who knows what these heathens? Knowing them, 5G is just another frequency, and they're lying about it to get people to focus on it. Who knows with these liars? Hopefully, the Most High will open my eyes and show me. If any of you have a clue, please help a brother out. If you don't want to put it on YouTube, I'll give you my email address. I understand not wanting it posted because there's scripture I found that I have no intention whatsoever of putting on YouTube. In the beginning, we gave them all of our knowledge and they turned it on us. I'm not going to post a video that I feel can help them in any way. Our ancestral writings aren't open to them and they will turn blue before I drop scripture that can help them hurt us more. Peace family, let me know what you think, and all praises to the Most High Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.